The impact of the coronavirus pandemic is being felt by not only humans, but animals too. Right now, many animal rescues need help. They can't speak up for themselves, so Aid on Your Side is focusing on our furry friends in need. Aid on Your Side's Christine McClarty is joining us live. She's in Odessa from Noah's Ark Farm and Sanctuary. That's right, Keith, and I've made a new friend. This pony is Amadeus, and Amadeus loves carrots. He and a lot of his friends on the farm have faced troubled pasts of neglect and abuse, but now it's the founder of the organization facing troubled times wanting to know how to feed these animals. Well, this is our oldest goat. Goats, roosters, ponies, and all types of farm animals roam the five acres of Noah's Ark Sanctuary. Most all these animals have been abused or abandoned. She came with a group of nine. Marusa Placitos Rodriguez founded this small business and nonprofit 25 years ago to save them. Now times are tough because of coronavirus. I would say this is probably the most devastating thing that's ever happened. Obviously to our country, obviously to many small businesses um, and, and charities too. They raise money by taking the animals on educational field trips. This month, they had 18 events cancel. That income, that donation that they give us, um, will pay for the feed and the hay, the veterinarian bill, and then we can rescue more animals. The farm is going in debt, running up credit card bills for food. <laughs> These two are always hungry. Every week costs $350. You know, I'll, I'll go hungry before they go hungry. That's Here's sure. how you can help. First, stop the cycle. Don't buy animals for temporary enjoyment. People like chicks, ducklings, and bunnies at Easter, and then a year later, they don't want them anymore. So we'll take them in, we'll feed them. The farm needs donations of hay, animal grain, and feed. If you can't supply that, you can donate financially. And for a donation, you can even take a social distancing trip to the farm. <laughs> Now, the founder is hopeful. She just told me a few moments ago that the donations have already started to roll in to help feed animals like Amadeus here and all 50 of his friends on the farm. For more details about how you can come visit this sanctuary or about how to donate, go to the WFLA app on your phone. Reporting live in Odessa, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side.